Welcome to Excel Campus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts to apply font and fill colors and cell styles using the Formatting Shortcuts add-in. A free version of the add-in is available for download at excelcampus.com. After you've installed the add-in, a Formatting Shortcuts button will appear on the Add-ins tab of the ribbon. Clicking on this button opens the Formatting Shortcuts window, and here you can set up the shortcut keys along with the font or fill color and or the cell style that you want to apply when the shortcut key is pressed. So I've set up these shortcut keys for good, bad, and neutral. And now on my worksheet I can simply press Control shift a to change that cell to the good style. I can move down the list and change this one to bad by pressing Control shift s and I can also select multiple cells, and if I use Control shift z that'll change that style to neutral. One of the great benefits of this add-in is the full undo history is preserved when you press the shortcut keys. So I can simply click the undo button to undo these changes, or better yet, use Control z on the keyboard to undo the changes I've just made. A major benefit of using the cell styles is that you can apply any of the cell formatting properties using the shortcut keys. So this is not just limited to colors, but you can also use the number formatting, alignment, borders, protection, and any of these combination of these properties uh, when you use the keyboard shortcuts. Cell styles are located on the home tab of the ribbon under the cell styles drop down. And you can either use these pre-built cell styles here or customize your own. So in this example I've set up some shortcut keys uh, for a number formatting type which is comma zero, some red warning text, and a custom style to center the alignment across the selection. So if I just press the control shift A here on the keyboard you'll see that that changes that cell style to include a comma, more of an accounting style number format. And I can apply that same um, format to the entire range by pressing Control shift a again. I can also use that Control shift s to color some of these um, items red if I want those to stand out. And I can use a Control shift z shortcut to uh, center that cell across the selection. Setting up the shortcut keys is pretty easy. In the formatting shortcuts window, you can type in the key that you want to use with the shortcut select the format type from the drop-down box and then click the cell format box to select a cell that contains the formatting you want to apply. Click OK and you'll see that the cell format box is now updated with that cell's formatting. After you click Save and Close you can now use that keyboard shortcut Control shift a to apply that cell formatting to any cell in your worksheet. A free version of the Formatting Shortcuts add-in is available for download at excelcampus.com. There you will find an installation and user guide and a lot of tips for creating and applying these shortcuts. This add-in has saved me a lot of time when styling a worksheet and I really hope it works for you too. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.